innovation empowers smart agriculture? How does it promote high quality agricultural development and explore a new model of vertical farming? Located in the southwest of Hainan Island, Lu Dong Li Autonomous County has been a major source of winter vegetables and fruits supply. It has unique conditions for tropical efficient agriculture. Recently, Wu Kai Qian has been worried about his infested cornfield a lot. To solve it, he called in a specialist from the county's agri tech center to check out. Fall army worm is an invasive pest native to the Americas and known as a crop killer. FAO of the United Nations warned of its harm as a major migratory pest. In January 2019, Fall army worms invaded Yunnan for the first time. Only three months later, the pest was also found in Hainan. Facing this war for food, plant protection specialists now have a new approach. They use drones. Now, the crew is making final preparation in Wu's field. Using drones to work can not only reduce harmful exposures for workers, but through completely autonomous operation, it can also improve efficiency while reducing the use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. With better effect and optimized process, in Hainan, the drones not only helped achieve autonomous operation in mango orchards, relying less on labor, but also helped achieve 30% pesticide reduction. 无人机随着技术的不断的更新Nowadays, technology is more and more widely used. By intelligently controlling the environment of crops, farmers can get out of the dilemma of relying on the weather. The solar greenhouse Wan mentioned 
was jointly built by CE Solar and Haikau Vegetable Basket Group in 2019. They replaced the original plastic sheets with thin film solar panels. And for Hainan's frequent typhoons, screw piles were used to secure them. The new greenhouse can resist typhoons up to Category 5. With thin film solar panels, the greenhouse can split the solar radiation into light for both plant growth and photovoltaic generation. Thus, it not only meets the needs of plant life, but also realizes power conversion. The power generated by the greenhouse can not only supply to the lighting and sprinkler, but the extra power can also be sold to the grid. This mode of agriculture solar complementary integrates photovoltaic power generation and greenhouse farming. It improves the land utilization, making multi-purpose layout possible. Meanwhile, it helps to resist the adverse effects of extreme weather during summer, patching up Hainan's vegetable production and off-season supply. Hainan from planning to the operation, Jiang Ming participated in the Agriculture Solar Complementary Project. In his view, armed with sufficient sunlight and a long-term plan to build a clean energy island, the project is promising in Hainan. According to statistics, the annual average power generation of CE Photovoltaic Long One Power Station reaches 360 million kilowatt hours, which can cover the annual consumption of 135,000 households. Each year, it reduces standard coal consumption by 115,000 tons and carbon dioxide by 359,000 tons, which features high economic and ecological value. With a total investment of 1.5 billion yuan, the station can operate for 25 years and recover the cost in about six years. As human science technique develops, agriculture is progressing intelligently. With more and more advanced technologies applied in farming, Hainan is gradually achieving both economic and ecological benefits. The favorable natural environment has always been the greatest advantage of Hainan. Feng Jia Wan, Hui Wen Town, Wang Chang, is one of the early areas that converted its natural advantages into economic gains. Back in 1989, Hainan Fisheries Research Institute invested in the construction of the first shrimp breeding farm in here. Since then, the aquatic seed industry there has been growing rapidly. Its white leg shrimp once accounted for nearly 30% of that of the national market. Feng Jiao Wan has thus become a renowned valley of fish and shrimp in China. Managing the contradiction between farming and ecology concerns the livelihood of the people to coordinate the transformation of fisheries and agriculture withdrawal. It's necessary to guide the fishery to the shore, to the deep sea, and to tourism to improve the fishermen's sense of acquisition. Therefore, Feng Jiao Wan is exploring a new mode which allows the fish and shrimp to live in buildings. In May 2021, including Zhengguang Nang, the first four aquaculture farmers formally put on trial breeding of Babylon shell, leopard coral trout, and silver scat in the two-story plant of Feng Jiao Wan Modern Fishery Industrial Park, starting a new mode of workshop breeding. Because 如果养不成的话,我们很就要亏钱,不知道多少钱亏钱。首先我们保证我们能养成,第二的话就是我们的收益跟人的对比有没有一个往上走。According to Jiang, multi-story breeding means an increase in intensity and production. Whether supporting facilities can keep up is crucial to the success. Accordingly, 
When Feng Jia Wan Park was designed, a clear goal was set, which is to be eco-friendly, plant-based, standardized, industrialized, and large-scale to have a significant increase in labor productivity and farmers' income, as well as significant decrease in business risk and environmental impact. With integrated water supply and drainage and the breeding ponds, the park is now in move-in condition. Compared to traditional farms, plant-based workshops are better equipped, with zero exposure to the elements and controllable conditions. The quality of the fish and shrimp produced is more stable. Multi-storey breeding provides a more stable environment for fish and shrimp, and the output of the same area of land can be increased by over 60%. Today, more and more aquatic enterprises and research institutes are coming to Feng Jia Wan to boost production through the favorable conditions here. The uh, the construction of the Hainan Free Trade Port has put forward higher requirements for agriculture. In the new era, grasping the trend, accelerating the upgrading to modern and efficient tropical agriculture and using more science and technology will give the rural areas in Hainan more dynamics and vitality.